Hey everybody, I'm the Crimson Cypher and welcome back to more Let's Play Monster Stories 2 Ways of Ruin in the last episode. We completed every side quest that we have accepted up to this point. And in today's episode, we finally taking on the Nagakuga. I know I take time between main like quests and to do side quests a lot, and that's a common thing. That that'll just happen throughout the entire playthrough. I do apologize if people don't like that, but you know. I like uh, doing side quests between, uh, well, main story stuff because it it kind of just takes a break from it, you know. And like, obviously, you need to grind in this in games like these, you know. In Pokemon, you have to grind. In Xenoblade, you have to grind. Hey, to be fair, I do want to play a Xenoblade. Uh, I do want to do a Xenoblade Let's Play at some point. That I really want to do. I'm not sure on two or three though. I haven't played. Uh, both of those yet, or at least I've played two. I haven't played it enough though to really give it like a good let's play chance, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, though the first game I've done a hundred percent playthrough of, so I'll try doing that. I'm gonna stop here because of the monsters that are in the way. Hopefully, none of these go come towards me. Yes, pass up the Tigrex. I know. All right, here we go. Now, we've been here before. We got the Nagakuga egg that we got from here. Uh, if you were to come here, well, now, you would still be able to get that egg. Obviously, it's the only one, so now it's not going to be there. Uh, okay. Stealth up real quick. Just uh, to It'll give us some, you know, chance of getting... Past the thing. Where am I going? Okay, I'm going... I should be going down this way. Technically, there's something here as well. Don't know what that is. However, this time, I am going to go... Uh, right. I almost said left, but no, I'm going right. Okay. There's a chest over here that we missed on our first visit. Got some potions, that's a very nice thing to have. Uh, okay, question. Who, do I, who would I want out? Technically, either Berserios or Iangaruga can work. Even though Nagakuga's only weak to lightning, but you know. It's fine. If we go around this way, there is a chest we still can't get because of the Ivy Climb. Meaning we need to wait until we get that. Okay, we need to go this way. Oh. I almost got ran into that great Jaggy then. I don't know if I go up into my field guides actually. Monsterpedia. Have I missed out on any monsters that could have been found? Uh, there's two here. Those two are the Tigrex and the Monoblos that we saw, the Royal Monsters. Uh, the rest are monsters we can, will be finding soon. So, keep going this way. Uh, keep walking on. Nagaku is right up ahead, buddy. I can feel it in my whiskers. I want to avoid that Paolumu at all costs. I want to see what's up here. Because this area is something we haven't seen yet. I want to see if there's anything here that's useful to us. Oh, there is a chest. Hold on. Hold on. There is a chest. The normal chest, not a blue one. Oh boy, stealth has gone down. Okay. A super whetstone. I'm not really a user of whetstones in this game, particularly. I mean, in the main games, yes. Absolutely. Oh god, that roller cross saw me. Okay. But yeah, no, in the main games, I would have used uh, whetstones. In this game, however, they're kind of useless, I think. Uh, let me check the description of them. They also have a hot chart. That's good. Whetstones. Increase your attack and crit rate for five turns. Easy to use and provide an ex exceptional finish. Huh. 
Okay. Oh. Looks like we found it. Agaku has shown itself. Get ready for a tough fight. Alright, here we go. Nagaku is a speed monster, or monster, should I say. So, Nagaku would be handful for even for Shulk and I. If this young rider really does have what it takes to stand against one, then maybe. I didn't see what Naviru said, but I saw what, obviously, Balin said. Um, okay. Let's swap out. Who would be better off here? Uh, technically, technically, Young Garuga would be better off because of speed. Well, it has quite a bit of speed to it. And plus, we haven't used it yet, so. Okay, let's go for the head. Shulk, you're going for speed attacks. Great. Going for the head again. Uh, I'm going to swap out into my hammer and see what that does because I, by looks of things, Great Sword is not doing that well. Uh, no, do not switch monster. A uh, hammer. Also, yes, I did decide to uh, remove the helmet off of my uh, rider's head because, let's face it, if we uh, if we do that, well, doing that, it'll just show, you know, what, you know, facial expressions and stuff in cutscenes. Uh, I think Garuga should not be going for power. Let's go for Blaze Ball. Maybe rider, we can go for... Nothing. Angaruga. Double attack. Okay, cool. Okay. And it's Madge. Now the question is... Will it go for power, or will it go for, um... I'm going to go for... Absolute Invasion. Carp and Blades, okay. Fine. Please ball. Okay. Freezing Burst, well, that's pretty decent damage. I really want to say it's good for power, so... Good for speed. Okay, it's going for technical! Okay, I did not realise that. Also, it is not weak to uh, hammers or uh, great swords. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, that's one of Nagakuga's most powerful attacks. Uh, especially in the main games, because if that thing hits you, and obviously if you're fighting it for the first time, that really hurts when you get hit by that. I'm not even joking, that is really, like, tough to, you know, deal with. Okay. So it's going for power. Let's go for Azros. Double attack. Awesome. So we're coming up across the monsters that even if you do um, do a double attack, uh, it will basically do the the attack. Just not on the the hunter it was or the rider you were it was targeting before. Okay, let's um. I don't have. Let's just go for that. Go for a kinship skill. Yeah. 
Look at that. It's one for an A4. Okay. That many points of damage. Not bad. And looks like uh, Alwyn's going for his kinship skill. I'm going to switch back into Eon Garuga. Because now it's going back into speed attacks, so. Get this. 105. Almost to a. Uh. Like. In chip skill. Let's go for. Full level swing. Sleep seal chaser. Yeah, I I don't really know. Hundred seventy one, awesome. Okay, now let's show off your know, Garuga's uh, kinship skill. We haven't shown that off yet. Actually, we haven't shown off Baserios's kinship skill either, so. That's something we need to do at some point. Barrel charge. Well done. Okay. And we poisoned it as well, which is good. Full blast. Power shot. It's almost down, which is good. Yeah, I could just go into Xerios. Yeah, why not? Let's just try it out. The Fang. Okay. I was really mad. Shield. Okay. Let's just keep up the damage and see if we can beat it now. Chip down soon. Up and blade. Uh, okay. Alan, if you could take it down now, that'd be great. 107 in a critical, okay. Awesome, okay. We did it. Holy crap. You're already strong enough to best a Nagakuga. I haven't seen anyone improve that fast since Red. All right. Terrace learned Inferno Gas. Got some Naga Kuga materials. No doubt we'll put that to use. You sure are strong, buddy. Kana would be so proud. It amazes me how fast humans develop. I know, right? My buddy could probably even beat you in a fight, Alwyn. They'd have to get as strong as Red first. Huh? Does that mean you and Red fought each other back in the day? Just sparring. I wanted to see how far his skills had come. I never seriously considered he might beat me. Wow! Are you saying you lost? Of course not. I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. Well, hey, how about you two go at it like that now? You want to be strong like your grandpa, right? What? Where's this coming from? How about you let me referee? What the? Who are you? <laughs> Just a humble feline crossing your path. You bet your whiskers I won't pass up the chance to watch a good contest. Talk about lucky. 
Okay, buddy. Time to show Al when your grandpa's not the only great rider in the family. If you can win this, that'll really impress Zellard and the Elder. I suppose battling against another rider would be good experience for you, too. Okay, get ready, cause here we... Go! No holding back, understand? It looks like we have a fight against Alwyn. This is your first rider battle, right buddy? You're gonna want to keep an eye on your opponent's hearts. Hearts decrease every time a rider or monster is defeated. First one who loses all their hearts lose the battle. You can target riders with direct attacks though only. Only monsters, so plan out your strategy carefully. Rider battle rules. Rider battle pits you against other riders in duels where both of you can use items and kinship skills. The first one to complete all of their opponent's hearts wins. But remember, you cannot directly attack another rider. Okay. So, with that, I'm going to use Nagakuga and have it use Spike Bomb to damage both of them. And, if I'm remembering correctly, Legiana or Shulk is a speed specific monster. So, I want to use. Do I have any skills up? Yeah, so they're all skill uh, speed based. Okay, both of them take damage. Oh boy. Or a, a potion on Nakuga. Okay. Hugga why are you going for- oh, okay. Right, cool. Uh, okay, I'm going to use... Viserios. For this, so that we can use technical attacks. Let's go for... Go for a double attack on that Legiana. Alwyn's just using Shulk for this battle, but some riders will switch between different monsters too. Yeah, we want to be careful of this. Poison gas. A poison Alwyn. And Shulk is down. You've come a long way in such a uh, short time. Power shot. Serious, okay, you take some damage. Fine. Let's go for a riding action. With our kinship skill. Lays ambush! Yeah. Oh my. Okay, and I believe, almost, okay. Uh, ooh, okay, for monsties, I'm gonna, oh, I don't have rock shield up, okay. Okay, uh, crap. Looks like they're using their, uh, kinship skill on us. Now, Shulk! Oh, this could be bad. Oh, okay, how much does that do? Only 89 points of damage, not bad. Hey. Okay. Uh, uh, I want to use a Weldon Stake myself. That way we can uh, heal up real quick. Ow, okay. Shulk should be down? No, it's not. 
can't attack Alwyn, but I can attack Shulk. Shulk's nearly down. We take it oh, almost. Ooh. A well then stake on can't use one on my uh on this area, but that's fine. Like so. Vengeful Ice Drill! Ow. I think both of us should just go for technical attacks and see if we can take down. There we go, Shulk's down. Let's see if Viserys can get Alwyn. Come on. Okay. Power shot. Sarah's lives just. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Tap, 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 tap. Nice. That's right on. Friendship skill on both of them. Two laser ambushes at a time. Come on, Alwyn has to be down. Yes, he is. Only meant for this to be a training exercise, but I ended up giving it my all. Impressed? We're getting pretty strong, right? Don't get any experience from that. We don't get any items for it either, so... That's that. You can now participate in multiplayer battles. They're a good way to gain experience. Access these battles from the quest board and test your skills against riders from around the world. You can also join forces with a partner for pair battles. Victory lies in the strength of your bond. Oh, sounds like fun! You should try out later, buddy. But first, time to grab an egg and head back. Well, we would. Uh... But we can't because the Nagaguga egg is not there. We already have it. Anyways, I'm going to leave it off. Well, I'm going to leave it off here, should I say. Next time on Let's Play Monster Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, we'll head back to the village and report back that the Nagaguga has been taken uh, care of. See you guys then.